And we are in game one right now. Sorry for starting a little late, but here we are. Now, blue team, we have the mutiny. And then Max agreed in red. Both teams taking their respective caps. Be wide open. I would like to see someone swing in there, one of the DDs. But I can really understand not wanting to give up the cap that you just took. And we don't really have a mirror matchup. It's a 4v3 on every opposite side. And that goes for both teams. CSX launching some torps onto the Missouri. Also taking that cap, but taking fire from the USS Black. Now the USS Black torps do hit hard, but they were very, very slow. But the main gimmick of that ship is having that radar. It looks like Mutinies has now pushed into C. Taking control of both caps at this moment. A and C in control of them. Max Greed has taken control of B. Jutland went in there and scooped that up. Ooh, Jutland takes a heavy hit from the Plymouth. Plymouth does have radar, but it looks like he's going to push in and try to get that other second shot right onto him. Also, even getting in on a piece of the action. Down goes Ron Swanson in the Jutland to the Tulsa. He did manage to get very good torps onto the Plymouth. That is some heavy, heavy hits onto Plymouth right now. I, I do not I do not think it's wise to poke out there, but it's getting the torps off onto the Duncan. Meanwhile, up north, the cap has now flipped in favor of Max Greed. Looks like they're trying to focus fire onto the anchorage and get them down. Knock those guns out of this match right now. B now getting flipped in favor of mutiny. All right, so we have Santander pushing up. Getting shots onto. Firing at the Tulsa. Um, unfortunately, those shots are going to be blocked by not only the island next to the Tulsa, but the island in front of the Santander as well. Dimitri Don, Don Squad coming under heavy fire from the battleship 
and the Tulsa. And the Tulsa is making really good work of this island, using it to block shots from the left side, but then also bowing in onto the Dimitri Donsko to reduce that damage. Two torps landed onto the Lepanto from that USS Black. Those, remember, they do hurt. Was it from him or was it from... No, I, those could have been Z-46 torps. Missouri's just living as long as he can while getting shots out onto Lepanto. Points lead definitely in favor of Mutiny. So the kill lead and game one does go to mutiny. For some reason, Boop. Uh. Boop. Okay. Okay. Uh, that source that's actually ginormous, first of all. <laughs> uh, let's shrink that down a little bit, huh? How about that? And we'll put it right there. Oh, it's not even. That's going to bother me. That looks pretty even there. All right, so it is a best of three. This is Mutiny versus Max of Rage. Winner's bracket 1.4. Uh, if we want to look at that, I do have that set up here. Obviously not because I got chat open. Questionable. Uh, but here it is. Boom. So winner's bracket 1.4. That is what we're looking at. But we're getting now into the game. So let's avoid that and go into here. Now, Mutiny's up 1-0. to zero. Now, again, Mutiny is in blue, and Rock in the red is Maximum Greed. Oops. Nope, no one's used Paulo Emilio. Also, we have a 120 second delay. I apologize, but that's just how we have to keep the matches fair here. Someone brought out the Hector. Interesting. That's the first Hector I've seen. Okay. Now, again, let's see if the teams push their advantage by having four on threes. But uh, that's what it's looking like right now on opposite sides, right? It's always going to be a four on three.
Quartz coming in. I don't think the Z46. Okay, never mind. They just run out of steam right there. How are things going over here? USS Black definitely took some hits. Looks like Tulsa used his rapid reload to uh, try to burst down to Hector. It looks like we have ZF6 making a move onto the cap. Though, if he spots the USS Black, that's going to be it for him. The Black does not have that much health. Oh, and there's the shots coming out. But are these slow torps going to actually hit, though? Oh, he's hitting some. Oh, he might be dead. Oh, great torps from the USS Black. We got a spear coming out from the Jutland. Now nah, he's just going to be able to speed out of that. Let's see. Does he nail some? Why is he, is he turning back into him? One torp. Two torps. Landed two torps. That was a good chunk of damage onto the ZF Z46. And right now they're just exchanging fire. Duncan coming under heavy fire as well as some torps. Oh, those torps are going to definitely hit. Do they kill, though? Yes, they do. But Hector also use, loses his life at the same time. So we have an even exchange down there. DD's still exchanging fire down south here. Both are very, very low. And the Z46 goes down. I mean, no, Z46 takes down, sorry, the Jutland. And now it is two to six. I can't math. Two to six caps now flipping in favor of not in favor of anyone really, but it's uh, safe to assume that mutiny is going to have this one in the bag. Oh, is you USS Black making that suicide run? Where are the guns pointed? And down goes Lepanto from the Plymouth. Meanwhile, Santander's up north, running for his life, getting chased by Duncan and an anchorage. 
sadly infamous is about to go down and that is all she wrote duncan takes her out And now we just wait for our invite here. Let's go to lobby view. There it is. There she there, there it all this. Boom. Let's see if we can reset this. I just dropped a quarter. I don't know why there was a random quarter sitting on my desk, but there was. Interesting. Uh, yeah, we can go here. And actually, since I don't have any other information, I could just extendo this. So. What we just witnessed was 1.4. Mutiny ends up moving over to winner's bracket 2.2. Maximum greed drops down to loser's bracket 1.2. And we're going to keep monitoring this. And uh, yeah, right now we're just hanging out, waiting for the next invite. Hopefully no one says anything crazy in world chat while I'm looking at this. This man said, never research what you need for a home improvement project. Just go to the store 300 times like a man. I'm not going to lie. I have done that and it's not fun. It's very annoying. Research that shit. Let's see. Wait, I forgot I have Discord on this computer dot too. So I can message Captain's chat. All right, well, we might as well Get caught up in chat here. See Ryan in there. Vulture, how's it going? Admiral Hi Hi, how's it going? Still no streamer invite, uh, which is awesome. Uh, hmm.
Let's see. I'm gonna. I wonder if Gremu is streaming as well. I'm gonna go ahead and pop in. Let's Uh, sorry about that. Nope. Am I the only person streaming this right now? That's unfortunate. What about Kyrie? Let's see, YouTube.com. I, I spelled the name right. I am not sure. Hmm. World chat. You just love to see it. It hasn't even been updated yet. I don't know how the other games have gone. Gone. How was my day going with the seven-hour stream that I did? Uh. Yeah, considering, I mean, not that many people came, but I played a bunch of random stuff. I played a little bit of Bomber Crew. I played some Metal Storm. I played some, played a lot of Helldivers. And then I ended the stream with two games of uh, World of Warships PC. There's a Spanish guy streaming as well. I was looking to see if his name, man, because I don't. All right, I, I understand, guys, but uh, it's really the ways is going on right now. Can't really Let's see. Is one of the teams sending me invites to? I know Kraken. Yeah, I'll fucking sit here and watch Unity or Mutiny all day. Gremu? Nah, Gremu isn't streaming. Can I display chat? Yeah. You can display chat. If I remember how to do it, to be honest. Where is it said on that screen? Is it eventless? 
No, not eventless. Image, no, display capture. Nope. Scene, possibly. Oh, wait, widgets. That's where it's at. Chat highlight, not chat highlight. Chat box. There we go. Boom. Fly. Add source. But we're going to shrink it a little bit. There we go. Boom. Chat is highlighted or up. I won't have it though when we're in a live match. Still need an invite. Meep. Streams your guys at some point. I'm asking anyone for an invite. All right, so this is no name versus Max Greed. So is this loser's bracket? Am I already in loser's bracket right now? Hold up. Wait a minute. Some ain't right. Boom. Nope, that's not it. Boom. So it looks like CC Monk or CCP Monkey has won against a team with no name, and uh, they've moved on to face Maximum Greed. Getting into the first game here. I'm taking any invite just to. I don't even care if it's loser bracket or not. As long as we get to watch some games. Because I can't stand the waiting. Alright. In blue, we have Max Greed. And in red, we have a team with no name. So for those tuning in, just remember there's still a 120 second delay. I'm not ignoring chat. It's just, it takes 120 seconds to reply. All right, we got some torps from the Benham heading out. Some pre preemptive, you know, torp in the gaps. Things over here. Ooh, Plymouth and the Chungmu are in a bad situation right now. They're kind of sandwiched in between this crossfire here. So they're going to. All right. So it looks like a team with no name is abandoning C flank altogether. Um, Chungmu is going into a contest over here at B.
Caps current. I mean, it's still a very close match in terms of points. Um, in terms of health, I feel like a team with no name is sitting in a better spot. Unfortunately, these Torps look pretty decent. Is it going to be able to turn in time? Yep, the Chengwu ends up getting gets skinny to those Torps and avoids all of them. Still keeping pressure onto this cap. Dimitri Donskoy ends up taking down the Benham. Looks like we got both Santanders just uh, kind of duking it out. A ship with no names. Santander's able to really bear all of their guns onto their Santander on the enemy Santander and it goes down as now they have a two kill advantage. Caps, though, have now flipped in favor of Maximum Greed. What are the rewards for winning? I will show you. I can show you that. Right now, points lead is in favor of a team with no name. Oh, shots out to the Duncan, but the Chung Mu ends up taking down the Duncan with one rack of torps, sending the second rack of torps onto the Lepanto. I would like to see him just completely bug out of there and take C for his team. But down the Chung Mu goes. Points still in favor of a ship, ah, a ship, a team with no name, but it's not that big of a lead. It's only by like 12 or something. The Santander ends up taking down the Duncan. And now we have the swing in favor of Max Greed. Oh, he turns into those torps. He's going to definitely eat six, six torps. Is he a six? Is he going to make a suicide run right now? Oh, there's the suicide run. Guns. Pointed in the opposite direction, and the ZF6 takes him down. It is a 2v3 right now. But it doesn't matter, and game one is going to go to maximum greed.
brother, what is going on? All right, well, that's fucking dumb. Um, so. What we just saw was a mistake, apparently. <laughs> a team with no name actually beat CCP Monkey and they moved on. It'd help if they updated this. But they're supposed to be playing Mutiny. So lovely. Uh, unfortunately, you guys see what the hell I'm looking at. Oh, well, there I am, but tournament schedule here. Oh, so here we'll do this. Uh, matches. Alright, so here you go. Rewards. Exclusive camel for top eight participants with special ones for winners slash top three. A tier ship of choice for the MVP as chosen by the first place team. So whoever gets it, who's the, whoever's the like tournament MVP, they have to be chosen by the team. Gets a tier 10 of their choice. Tier eight, seven, and six for top T uh, three teams. Historical tier six ship for fourth fifth place teams and premium time for all participants. All right. Well, let's go to lobby view since we're here in the actual lobby. we have a best of three nope guys there was a mix-up they played the wrong the wrong team hi princess No. Just put it on the floor in uh, Daddy's bathroom. No. Put it on the floor in Daddy's bathroom where you'll see other clothes. I'll take care of it after this, okay? All right. In blue, we have Mutiny. And in red, we have a team with no name. Winner's bracket 2.2.
here we have the USS Black launching some preemptive torps. But uh, I would like to see these guys start turning immediately once they realize, hey, the DD's not at B. And they haven't seen or spotted anyone yet. All right, now we're starting to see them push in. Anchorage is definitely taking a lot of torques right now. Missouri going to take one on the nose, and they are going to back off from that cap. Now, what is the Benham's play? Is the Benham going to go ahead and sweep around into the cap and kind of reverse? It? Let's see. Plymouth has taken a massive amount of damage, though. Definitely does not need to push out. Massive hit onto the Santander. Santander's going to be going down. Does get the Torps off, though, but the secondaries finish them off from Missouri. Do those Torps hit, though? Starting to turn. He might get one or two. Two Torps for the trouble. In the meantime, Anchorage does go down. But the Chung Mu launches Torps. Launches one set of Torps. Shark move doing everything it can to not die, but the Duncan ends up taking down the Chung Boo. Three ships to six. Not looking good for a team with no name. Mutiny has control of both caps right now and about a 200 point lead. Right now, the Benham should be proxy spotting the USS Black. Let's see how they play this right now. I don't know what is going on here. And both DDs end up taking each other out. Two to four left, but not much longer. Duncan's on two fires. While the other Duncan is just that they're like, if you just sniff on them, they will die. And down it goes. That is game one.
So game one goes in favor of mutiny. Let's see. It looks like we're not going to see any kind of swaps from ships. All right, moving into it. All right, again in blue here on Evercenter, by the way, we have Mutiny and in red, we have no name. I forgot I had to lower my audio here. All right, we have the Chonmu flanking. Interesting. It does get a couple torps onto the Duncan and the Plymouth, it looks like. Early caps in favor of mutiny. No one's gone into. All right, we got the venom reversing into the middle cap. Dimitri Donskoy looking very hurt. Duncan ends up taking down Santander. All right, now that Benham took the middle cap, I'd like to see him go into that center ring. How does he play this? Instantly just sends it, huh? Punished heavily by the Plymouth. Anchorage does take a lot of damage. Chung Moot is probably going to go down right now. I don't know if that was a worthy trade there. Heavy hits onto the Duncan.
Oh. Torps coming in. Two torps onto the... Nope. Only one torp onto the Plymouth. But that one does hit the Duncan. USS Black probably used his radar right now. And Duncan takes out the Venom. And now there were just two left. And it looks like a team with no name is going to be going down to the loser's bracket. And Mutiny ends up taking the game. Alright, so it looks like this finally was updated, so we're going to take a look at it. Let's go into tournament schedule view here. Boom, there we go. So we know the outcome of this. So a team with no name is going to be dropping down here to losers bracket 2.1. It looks like the Raging Chodes won and ended up going to 2.1. Submarine Makers ended up taking out Rage Anonymous and sending him down to the loser's bracket to face Kraken. Oops. Going to lobby view while I'm just waiting here, you know, doing my thing.
Oops. Didn't mean to click that. Did you get blocked trying to post a link? You should have. I mean, maybe. Uh, Hocus, send it to me on Discord and I'll post it. I just don't want to mess with Streamlabs right now, to be honest. Let me type that out. All right, so this is a best of five.
Okay, is that officially been updated? All right, it has. Okay, so actually while we wait here, we can show the results of all this. Bam, there we go. If we can stop scrolling. So, Rage, I don't think they've dropped the game to be honest. Uh, the Choder, the Chodes Rage, the bunch of Chodes, the little tiny, whatever. I don't think they've dropped the game this whole tournament. Um, they're going on to win this bracket finals to face mutiny. Meanwhile, down here, I don't know the results of this match here, but whoever wins this one's going to go face a team with no name. CCP squad is going to be facing the submarine makers. back to the lobby if you know that oh wait let's see if he sent it to me on discord message request oh man that was 14 out vulture i am sorry i did not see your message until right now i rarely look at <laughs> my discord man like you know in the message request because i always have dots all over my stuff so i'm sorry vulture i didn't see you message me oh we're already getting into this In red, we have Mutiny, and in blue, we have Rage. Looks like both teams are opting to ignore BCAP right now for the time being. We'll see how that plays out. For the DD matchup down at C, we're going to have the USS Black versus the ZF6. ZF6 is very powerful, but very squishy at the same time. And you have the USS Black smoke radar combo. As well as hard hitting torques, but they're slow as hell. Meanwhile, up north, you have a Z46 versus a Jutland. We got the Jotland engaging the Z46. Heavy hits on to the ZF6 from the Missouri. Corps are getting launched. Missouri's not looking great right now. 
And the Duncan ends up taking down the Missouri. Right now, the Anchorage is in a bad spot. Heavy hits on to the Anchorage from the Duncan, taking them down. They officially cleaned up this side, and now they're going to be rolling through and sandwiching. Yeah, they're going to be sandwiching Mutiny real soon. These guys don't even have to push. They're going to let the crossfire happen. Corps are going to be landing on Soulfire, but not that much. Only two Torps, and he takes out the Tulsa, but we have more Torps coming in. Is that going to be enough? One, two, three, four hits onto the Duncan, but remember, the Duncan has that super heal. Rage has not lost a ship. And all they got left on the side of Mutiny is that Z-46. Who's firing HE. I mean, I would... I would honestly just fire AP at the weak spots. Z-46. German AP is amazing. And new stakes down the Z46. Remember, this is a best of five, so strap in. Oh, should we start smack talking them? Nah, nah, we're gonna let. I was like, you're gonna let a man handle you like that? No, nah, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be neutral here. So far away. Be right back. Actually, we'll go to this view. And I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. 
as we wait for game two to start. Look at the schedule here. All right, let's refresh this. And nothing has reset, so nothing is different. So we'll go back to lobby view. Actually, we're not going back to lobby view. We're going straight back to the game. So, uh, bye. All right, so here we are. Game two. Alright, in blue we have Mutiny, and in red we have Rage, but the Chode types. Looks like no changes. There is a change on the side of Mutiny. They're not running the Kronstadt. Interesting strategy coming from the side of Mutiny. It looks like all of their forces are going towards A slash B. And they sent one DD over to C to try to defend that. Let's see if that stops this push right here, though. Caps in favor of Rage, they hold all three, but A is getting flipped right now. There is a uh, two battleships pushing as well as an anchorage. You have a Tulsa also pushing, but the flank. And the Plymouth is probably going to go down real soon, but the Jutland goes down to the Tulsa first. And there goes the Plymouth to the Duncan.
the one torpedo, man. Duncan's one torpedo is like getting hit by the Citadel. Heavy hit. Alright, we got the Duncans duking it out, but there is some slow torpedoes coming towards Rage's Duncan. USS Black goes down to the Plymouth. Honestly, he almost hit those torps. I would have been laughing though. It looks like the ZF6 wins that 1v1 against the Z. No, wait. Yeah, I guess the Z46 did win that 1v1 down south. All caps in favor of Rage at the moment. And that was game two. Oops. Let's go ahead and move this a little further to the side here. Wow. Right there. That looks good there. The previous winner should not be allowed to participate. How is that fair? You can't get mad at them just for dominating. Getting back into game three. Can Mutiny take a game off of Rage or they're just going to continue their dominance? Boy, in the 
начинается. Again, in blue you have the Raging Chodes, and in red you have Mutiny. Oh, sorry about that. Well, my thumb hit it, and now you're just gonna have the volume blasting, so. Coming in taunt to the Z. Is he going to be able to turn in time or is he eating one? Nope. Does get the turn in time and is taking that middle cap. Though the middle ring and the outer ring are in favor of mutiny. Let's see how long that'll last though. definitely takes a heavy hit there probably from a Duncan of some sort because oh wait it could have been the Sun yet Sun. And the Plymouth goes, or the Z46 goes down to the Plymouth. Secondaries gets the Missouri from the Admiral Schroeder. If he stops those hit, and they do hit indeed. USS Black going for the suicide rush. Those torps are way too slow though. Duncan has more than enough time. I mean, it still hurts. Don't get me wrong, it still hurts.
Admiral, I timed you out because that is a dumb message. You're on a five minute timeout. go back to lobby view or actually let's see they finally change this oh. oh did i lose it i did Trying to get my tournament thing back in view here. We're supposed to be watching one of the losers bracket. I'm not sure which yet, but we'll find out. Eventually they'll fucking tell us. refresh just in case yep nothing's changed except we know the outcome of this one i wonder if it said nope doesn't say say it yet wait what it Is the Wi-Fi acting up again? No, it's not. I'm just waiting. There's literally nothing but me waiting for an invite. 
I'm not gonna lie, this has been a uh, very poorly run Rule of the Waves. Dude, all this general chat is just this talking shit. I hate them. I hate you, Red. You know what? Actually, you know what? We'll make it a six.
tier six tier ones or one tier six? I'm gonna fucking run immediately. So unfortunate. Here we go again. I don't just want to do like a fucking tier 10 like that. All right, now back to, to waiting here. I don't know what match this is. But we're getting into it. All right, so this is losers bracket 3.1 rage versus CCP monkey. Honestly, I think this is the first time I've seen CCP. I like how they just said waiting on me. I'm like, nah, I'm playing a bullshit match right now. <laughs> So in red, we got CCP monkey and in blue, we have rage anonymous. This is the last match of the night or the last whatever's last couple of matches.
Currently caps in favor of Rage. They have that middle cap and the middle ring. I waited long enough. Nah, yeah, they can fucking wait for me. I don't care. A team with no name has been eliminated. All right, so the first casualty is on this side of Rage, though. Rochester ends up going down. Caps have now flipped in favor of... I forgot the name of the... <laughs> CCP, that's who it is. ZF6 takes you some damage. Again, we already talked about it. ZF6 can't really tank that much. But it does have the DPM with its guns. We got a Doom Spear coming out from the Jotland. Let's see if it finds anything. It doesn't look like it is unless a Duncan reverses some more. But the Z44 is going to be able to spot those. So Duncan is going to get out the way very, very safely. But Z44 is now coming under fire. Duncan has taken out Arsonist in the Udaloi, but the cross shot has gone down as well. And I'm assuming it was to, the, to that St. Louis. Only three left on the side of Rage. And no one down on the side of CCP. And game one goes to CCP.
And we'll go back to lobby view down here. Waiting for the game to start. Here we go, game two. This is a best of three. Let's see if Rage can come back and make this, take this to a game three, or if it's it. All right. Oops. There we go. All right, in your blue team down here, you have Rage Anonymous. And in red, you have CCP. It looks like both teams are going to possibly be evenly matched on each side. So we're going to see who paths, who plays it better on their side. So over at C, it looks like you're going to have three ships versus three ships. And at A, you're going to have forward V4. We have the St. Louis flanking, getting torts off, as well as kind of hammering the Plymouth with that heavy AP. Do have a Doom Sphere coming out. We're going to see if Arsonist backs into that. Heavy hits onto the Udaloy.
taps in favor of CCP. Seems like Rage is kind of hesitating to make a move onto any of these caps right now. I would like to see the Udaloy go into B and just take that since it's not really contested by anything. Does launch Torps onto the Jutland, but they do not hit. Looks like Jutland is going to go in and take B. All right, Udalo is now flipping A, but the Jutland has flipped B. Both DDs over here at C are proxy spotted, but the St. Louis ends up taking down the Rochester. All right, Missouri is going to be going down to the by the enemy Musashi. They're going to be going and flipping a currently all caps in favor of rage, but uh, that's probably not going to last for long right now. D44 does end up torping the Rochester. And the Udaloy takes down the Jutland, evening it up to a 4v4. Only one side has the DD, and that is Rage. But the Plymouth, St. Louis, and Musashi are fairly healthy. Musashi's sitting at half health right now. Currently points in favor of CCP though. They're gonna have to take down this Duncan and possibly another boat just to try to equalize these uh, these points here. Not even then the points aren't equalized. And CCP ends up winning this game. We're going to wait for the admins to 
say something here. All right, so yeah, that is it for the night. Losers bracket. Uh, let's go ahead and actually look at this right now. So I can show you guys what's going to happen tomorrow night. Tournament schedule. Here we go. All right, so for tomorrow night, we're going to be watching Losers bracket final. Obviously, CCP is going in here, and they're going to be facing off against Mutiny. Winner of this is going to go on to the grand finals to face Rage. Um, and that is another tough hill to climb because they have not dropped a single match. Even in the seeding stage, if I'm not mistaken, I'll take a look. Yeah, played 10, won 10. So they have not dropped a single match. That is quite the hill to climb. Uh, oops, didn't mean to do that. So again, Tomorrow's going to be loser bracket final, CCP versus Mutiny, and then the grand finals. I hope you guys enjoyed this, um, but that's going to be it for tonight. I'll catch you guys tomorrow night. All right. Bye, everybody.